Oh, in one of my other videos, I talked about the little frogs that I found. And this is the area I found them in. And I don't think my camera, I'm not going to get down there. Well, I don't know. Where will I go here? But I can see some hopping along. There's a few of them. I haven't figured out yet if they get any bigger than that. I brought about, here's some more hopping around over there. One day I came up here onto this little road. This is um, the water that they use to uh, water the orchards, I guess. And this is kind of one that doesn't seem to be taken care of real well. Although, I don't know how much care you have to take for a reservoir, but... So, I just... There's one right there. Little frog hopping along. I gotta put this back the way it was. Somebody cut through the chain. And they put a bunch of crap in there if it wasn't there before. They dumped things around here. And I guess somebody decided to dump stuff in the water. Oh, it's a shame. I think about <laughs> life and how some people are smart and some people are dumb and it makes me all consider the concept of reincarnation. There's a little guy right there hopping along. Did we all evolve from frogs and the people that dumped the crap in the reservoir are a few steps above frogs? Actually, I would say they're a few steps below frogs. There was one. Hi, little guy. Hopping along. I'm wondering if they grow big. I'm going to be here for a while, so maybe I'll see them grow. I gotta, just like I gotta look into the life, and here's some kind of old nasty chemicals here that I guess they don't use anymore. And it's interesting that all these rocks are black right in this one little spot. I wonder if it has anything to do with that chemicals. They look like there was a fire here or something. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe somebody tried to start this on fire at one point. Probably so. I wouldn't doubt it. And this is a this is a tank, and it says, Warning, flammable explosives or toxic materials may be present. Although, I'm pretty sure it's empty. And here's some other tanks that are empty. There's quite a bit of these kind of things. In this area up here, all the leftover blah, nasty chemicals that goes on your food. All you people out there that eat at conventional food. Yes. So there, that big patch of land right over there that has nothing growing on it, hardly, except little strips. But in the middle of it, there's hardly a thing growing in that field at all. And I think it's mainly because there's been so many chemicals put on it for so many decades that the, it hasn't recovered yet. Even though it's it rained over winter time, that's all that came out of it. And you know, after a rain, there's usually a lot of stuff that grows up for a little while, at least in the spring before it gets hot. And we've had some hot days, but it never had much of anything. There's a lot of mustard seed in there, but that's it. And this this orchard here to the left of that fallow piece of land is um, it's uh, left to do whatever it wants. It still gets watered, but nobody is taking the weeds out or seem to be uh, harvesting anything out of there. I'm thinking that they're letting it go back to being maybe a organic orchard or maybe it's for private use or something. I think it's probably organic because they've separated it from everything else. It has nothing around it. But over here on the right side of that field is chemical laden. Yeah, nothing grows there. It smells. I mean, the grapefruit trees grow there, 
but there's nothing really hardly at all growing on the ground. And there's that shed that I showed in one of my other videos. So now I'm up on the hill overlooking that. And here's a just rural field around it, the fields that surround it. There's a house up there behind those palm trees. I'm in amongst them. And that's some kind of a warehouse over there off in the distance. And there's another house up on the hill above that beautiful house up there. Anyway, today is June 6th, 2018. And over here to the right where those homes are, I live back up behind that hill. So I just wanted to come up here and see, show you where the frogs came from. They're probably... Uh, nuclear frogs since they're living in the vicinity of these chemical piles, but I guess they've uh, mutated to be able to exist here amongst that, and it's not poisonous to them, but I got a feeling it's pretty poisonous. Anyway, what do I know? Okay, over and out. <laughs>